There was a famous phrase amongst my hometown friends, Spyro equals for babies. My old pal Alex wrote this in a senior blurb in our high school yearbook. I would blindly recite that line, and since I never played Spyro as a wee lad myself, I just assumed my boy Alex was right. Due to the extra time I had while quarantining, I saw Spyro on sale on the Switch store and I picked it up, eager to see what Alex was talking about. Spyro is a 3D platformer slash collectathon. Think of Banjo-Kazooie or DK64, the classic Rare games, but Sony's take. You are placed into mini sandbox levels with tasks to complete, from burning specific objects to collecting items for a helpless friend. This is a formula we have seen in platformers and adventure games. Kill some enemies, jump and glide from platform to platform, and complete some puzzles. Although that may initially sound linear, there's tons of exploration to be done in every level. You'll have side missions to do in every level, and in addition to that, you'll have crystals to collect, which act as a currency that allow you to unlock new abilities. My initial thought was that this game is just an easier Banjo-Kazooie. Sharing the same genre as a collectathon platformer, I found myself breezing through the first couple of levels. I noticed the main task of each level took no challenge or time at all. I got through the first world without any sense of accomplishment. I almost gave up, but could you blame me? You need to factor in that I'm a veteran when it comes to the 3D platformer. It would be ludicrous to think that I am new to this. But once I revisited those levels after obtaining new skills, I was able to explore further, and that's when the game really opened up. Discovery is where Spyro shines as bright as his fiery breath, and once I approached the game that way, I was hooked from that moment on. Spyro follows the same principle as Yoshi games, but in a 3D landscape. I have raved about every Yoshi game in my reviews, how it's easy for kids to complete, yet challenging if you want to collect everything in the game. Spyro is exactly what you make of it in the difficulty department. If you want to just speed through the levels instead of taking in the scenery, smelling the roses, and searching every nook and cranny of the level, that's your choice. But the sense of accomplishment I got from 100% completing a level made me understand what the developers were truly going for. This is a game you can enjoy with a younger family member, because not only will they enjoy it due to the accessible control scheme and easy levels, but when you switch off from level to level, you can explore your own way and complete the difficult challenges to obtain orbs, or discover an additional treasure of gems hidden away only discovered by your knack for exploration. Spyro controls very well in the remake, but I can't speak for the OG games. I think 3D Sonic games took a lot of inspiration from this purple dragon. Spyro can glide like Knuckles, but also gain speed like our favorite blue hedgehog. You can use Spyro's fire breath and charging ability as an attack against the bad guys. The enemies you face vary by level, but they're all pretty straightforward and easy to take out. The glide ability makes platforming a breeze, and it's a great feeling using his gather ability to make a seemingly difficult landing easy. There are other abilities Spyro will learn throughout his adventure like climbing ladders and the ground pound. This will open up new gated sections and allow you to backtrack to old levels and find new gems and challenges. There are also temporary special abilities Spyro will learn, like flying and running with supersonic speed. Learning new abilities is fun, but I also found this to be an artificial way of progression. I would rather have all my abilities up front and go wherever I want at my own leisure instead of being restricted early on. I can understand the developers probably wanted to ease gamers into this experience and not throw too much at once, but I think providing tutorials throughout the game while leaving the abilities there from the get-go would be a lot more rewarding. Figuring out things on my own without buying abilities was always fun in Super Mario games, so it's disappointing to see Spyro not follow suit. A lot of other 3D platformers were plagued by artificial progression, so I can't take too many points off for this. A large critique Spyro historically had was its crappy camera, but that was more of a hardware issue than anything else. Spyro originated on the OG PlayStation, and that controller did not have analog dual sticks, meaning there was no right stick to control the camera. In the remake, there are no camera issues whatsoever. You are in full control whether you adjust your camera settings to fixed or free. Regardless, enjoy the right stick and adjust to your heart's content. So which game is the best in the trilogy? The bronze goes to the original. Although I have to respect Spyro's roots, I found the levels in the first one to be a bit bland with not much to do. And even with remastered graphics and controls, the level design just doesn't hold up as well as the other two. I'm awarding the silver medal to the third one, thanks to much more variety within the gameplay. The part I didn't like was that you have to play many sections as Spyro's friends, and they just don't control as well as the purple dragon. 
The second one had the best balance of level design, stuff to do, and challenging sections later in the game. Plus, you play as Spyro the entire time, so Spyro 2 Ripto's Rage gets the gold medal on Swiss Cheese Gaming. Regardless of which game is your favorite, I recommend playing them all. The developers did a great job on this remaster. The visuals are completely modernized and everything looks amazing. The cutscenes look like legitimate cartoons. I was really able to see the love and care put into this game. Spyro is voiced by Tom Kenny, the same guy who voices Spongebob, which gives this game a lot of brownie points. Collectathons are not for everyone, but if that kind of genre tickles your fancy, Spyro is a must play. The amount of things to do and the sense of challenge for completionists means that every kind of gamer will enjoy this one. This video is dedicated to you, Alex. Spyro is for big boys too.